So we have this differentiation from first principles where we have this limit. And it can look pretty scary at first, but it's actually pretty easy to work with. It's just your algebra skills have to be good. So it says that the derivative dy dx is equal to the limit as h goes to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. This is the formula we need to know. So it's called first principles differentiation. So let's look at an example here for a second. I'll put this to the side because I might use it again in a minute. So here's a simple um, derivative to get. So fx equal to 2x squared plus 9x. Uh, we should know maybe on the top to top of our head now at this stage that by the power rule this should be 4x plus 9. But we could be asked in an exam use first principles. So we actually have to use this formula. So what do we actually need for this? Well, for this formula, it's the limit as h goes to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x. We have f of x. We don't have f of x plus h. We have to put in h into the formula then. So let's actually get this stuff here, f of x plus h. So this is going to be replacing everywhere that there is an x with x plus h. So it's going to be 2 times x plus h squared plus 9 times x plus h. Okay, so let's actually expand this out. And so 2 times x plus h squared, that's 2 times x squared plus 2xh plus h squared plus 9x plus 9h. Okay, so let's keep going here. f of x plus h equals to 2x squared plus 4xh plus 2h squared plus 9x plus 9h. And we actually have no like terms here. So the only um, things we actually have, we have x squared, x h, h squared, and x and h. So this is something that we actually need to put into our first principles formula and this thing. So essentially we're going to have this longer stuff here minus this stuff here. I'm going to put that all over h. So remember what I said, the overall answer should be 4x plus 9, just using simple power rule derivatives there. Okay, so looking at our formula, it says that the derivative dy dx is going to be equal to the limit as h tends to 0 of, firstly, f of x plus h, all this stuff here, 2x squared plus 4xh plus 2h squared plus 9x plus 9h. Now it says minus then f of x. So that's minus this stuff here. So minus, and let's use brackets, 2x squared plus 9x. So it's pretty long across the top, and that's all over h. So if it gets very difficult, it might be better to start a top line out first, but you can never forget that you have to divide h into each term then. So let's keep going here. So let's look at this actually. 2x squared, so... So we can't forget our limit notation because we haven't taken the limit yet. So 2x squared. Any other x squared terms? Yep, in here. That's actually going to be minus 2x squared. So 2x squared minus 2x squared. It's going to cancel the two of those guys. <coughs> now, when we look along, no other xh term. But notice in here this 9x term. There's also another 9x term in here. So these are also going to cancel each other because that's going to become a minus 9x term. So what am I left with? On the top, I'm left with 4xh plus 2h squared plus a 9h and that's it on top all over h now if we actually divide h into each term here i'm left with the limit as h goes to zero of well i can't forget this is what dy dx is what my derivative is right so the limit as h goes to zero and x into 4xh such as these are 4x, h into this thing here, I should have said h into 4xh, sorry, h into this is with a 2h, because h cancels one of those h's, and h into 9h is with a, a 9. Okay, now, when I take the limit and I replace h by 0, this term will be gone and will just leave me with 4x plus 9. And of course, we know by looking at the original derivative uh, function that we had, that that's what we should have had. We should have actually got to 4x plus 9. So yeah, differentiation from first principles. I might do a more difficult example in a later video.